Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. Tonight we're going to talk about the British Prime Minister. Uh, yes, Rishi Sunak. Um, is he English? Let's talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the uh, British Prime Minister, uh, Rishi Sunak. Is he English? Um, you know, you'll notice that uh, of late um, that there has been a number of leaders of uh, Scotland, uh, Ireland, Wales, and uh, uh, and Britain that have been, um, you know, not ethnically of those countries. You know, you had the Tessiok in Ireland who was a gay Indian man. You had some leader up in Scotland who was like a, um, you know, like he was like of Muslim extraction. Um, and then you had somebody in Wales. It, it, there was a, a meme that went around that showed these were the current four leaders. And then of course you've got, you know, the mayor, uh, Sadiq Khan of London, who is uh, some kind of Indian Pakistani origin. I have no idea. So anyway, you know, it's, uh, of course, this is deliberate, you know, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, obviously, you know, England, uh, you know, um, essentially those four countries, England, Wales, Scotland and Ireland, have had a huge influence on world history. And, you know, I mean, obviously, for a long time, England um, and Britain ruled the world. The British Empire uh, ruled the world and it was the empire upon which the sun never set, ladies and gentlemen. And, of course, one of the, uh, you know, things that backfires about, you know, empire is that you get many immigrants coming in from you know, the, the far colonies. And that I guess over the years, there has been a, a movement, particularly since World War II, particularly since uh, the, the globalist agenda began to take hold in the 1950s, there's been a move towards mass immigration um, into uh, Western countries and into England, uh, Britain, uh, um, you know, from people from all around the world. Uh, and, you know, this is, so now you have, um, these great nations that once, uh, you know, whose power was uh, in the world was, you know, un unparalleled, um, now ruled over by people from foreign countries. And you've got this guy, Rishi Shunek. Now, I mean, you know, I, I've listened to some of what this guy has said. I don't particularly hate him. I don't particularly hate his politics. At least he's a Tory. At least he's not Labour. I mean, Tory's always been a little bit better than Labour. Um, you know, but he, you know, he's, un he's unelected. I mean, Boris Johnson, for all his faults, um, I quite like Boris to some extent, even though he was clearly corrupted by the global um, you know, and obviously I did really just strongly dislike Boris's position on uh, Ukraine because he was a you know, big supporter of the stupid war uh, against Russia in the Ukraine that, that is not helping the Ukrainians and certainly not helping the Russians, it's helping nobody. Um, so anyway, Rishi Shunek uh, has taken over and, um, you know, uh, you know, the polls aren't looking good. It looks like Labor might actually have a win. And you had someone like George Galloway, um, you know, who's quite interesting in a way, who in, in a largely Muslim um, kind of electorate uh, was nominated and um, uh, and won, uh, won his, uh, you know, won his seat. And he was uh, strongly anti-Israel, which of course, um, you know, is most upsetting because we all know all of our Western politicians have to bow down to Israel, um, you know. Um, so for whatever reason, um, I quite support any uh, politician in the West, even if it's been elected by Muslims uh, within our own countries, that's anti-Israel, because I think it just upsets the status quo. And it also points out how our countries are controlled by the Zionists. Um, and so, you know, it's all very interesting. But, you know, is he English? I mean, for example, if I went to China, and I was an expat in China, and I lived in Beijing or whatever, okay, fair enough, that could, that's possible, I could do it. I could even live in Hong Kong, why not? There are a lot of expats in Hong Kong, even still, since the Chinese took over. But if I were to somehow take an interest in Chinese politics, I'm sure they probably would I wouldn't even be allowed to, I don't even know what the laws are, but say, I don't know, say I was allowed to, whether it be in Hong Kong or Beijing, and I were to become a politician and become the, the mayor of Beijing or the mayor of Hong Kong, would I be Chinese? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Nothing they could do would make me Chinese. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. You know, I would be the Australian leader of Beijing or the Australian leader of Hong Kong, right? So I don't understand how we think that people from other countries can come to a country like England, Britain, Scotland, you know, Wales, Ireland, and consider themselves of that country. Um, you know what I mean? Like, uh, there's this, you know, it just doesn't make sense to me. And I think it's a nonsense. And, uh, you know, if, if I went to Japan, I would always be an Australian expat living in Japan or in China or wherever the hell I decided to settle. So, you know, that's it. And, um, you know, I just think, um, you know, it's extraordinary that we have the leader, you know, the prime minister of Britain is uh, essentially of Indian extraction, and then you've got this Sadiq Khan. I don't even know what he is. He's a hundred times worse than, um, I mean, at least, uh, you know, uh, Rishi Shunak. 
Uh, and I mean, listen to this. It's like Rishi Shunak and Sadiq Khan. This sounds like a fucking dish down the local fucking Indian restaurant, mate. And these are the leaders of the most powerful uh, nation on earth. You know, the formerly great, um, you know, Great Britain. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we're in trouble. And uh, I just wanted to talk about that, even though it's politically incorrect to do so.